Hi, welcome to Simply Hike. In this session, we're going to be looking at the Mule 120 travel bag. It's a large travel bag uh, designed for long trips, very heavy duty, lots of features. Let's take a quick look around the bag then. On the top of the bag, you have a padded handle section. This can unclip, obviously, to allow you into the bag. Even the straps themselves are padded. The reason these are padded is this becomes a rucksack system, which I'll explain in a moment. But for now, it just clips back together to make a good, strong, comfortable carrying handle. As we go round the bag then, on the front, you have a standard small pocket zipper. It's quite a large pocket, quite deep, going right down to the bottom of the bag. Big, heavy-duty straps for the carry handle, so it can take a fair amount of weight, fair amount of abuse. Um, on the underside of the bag, it's a wheel bag as well, so obviously you can drag it through an airport. It's got the under, underneath runners, obviously for protection of the bag. Reasonably stiff, solid back plate. On the top, we have a retractable handle, obviously again for use with the wheels. Back of the bag, really not a lot on the opposite side. On each end of the bag, you have these heavy duty grab handles. Obviously, if it's going around on a carousel or something, or you need to drag it off of a bus, nice padded grip handles. On the end of the bag, heavy duty YKK zips into an internal pocket. Opens right up, lots of space in there. And that actually goes into the inner section of the bag as well. So you can either put a lot of stuff at this end, maybe dirty linen, washing, that sort of thing can go in here. Um, and then the main bag is obviously squished up a tiny little bit. On the rucksack part of the bag, to operate the rucksack, you have these little arrows here. Unclip the handles. And up here, you can see you've got these arrows as well. And underneath those arrows, you can see there's a D-ring. So now, to operate the backpack system, just take the little loop here, hook it over, clips in, same with the opposite side, bring your loop out, clip it over, and now that can be worn as a rucksack, because these handles are much, much shorter. Obviously, remember to keep all the soft stuff it's the lid of the bag. Let's now take a look inside the bag to undo these. Just exactly the opposite of what you did. So you just push up and twist. On the top of the bag then, you've got your compression straps. Undo both of those. On the main zip, you have a section for actually locking the bag shut with a small padlock. And then you've got this heavy duty YKK zip again. Let's take a look inside the bag now. It's a U-shaped entrance, so you get the maximum amount of space inside the bag. On the inside of the bag then, on the top of the lid, there's this mesh pocket. Goes all the way down, large mesh pocket. Obviously ideal for just storing uh, stuff that you need on a regular basis. On the inside of the bag, there's a compression system. You see these straps here. And within that compression system, there's actually a bag built into it. So you can store things like dirty linen and all that within the bag, actually on the top. There's the bag open. And you can see it sits on top of this compression system. So obviously you can undo just to keep maybe dirty laundry or spare clothing or anything really, valuables maybe, all in one secure place. 